So essentially you have to tuck it in down there and then roll it all the way down. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Um, so if you saw my recent update video, um, I showed you that I had a 16.5 inch by 16.5 inch, um, basically like a light box cube um, by Savage, or Savage. <laughs> I said Savage because of Clone Wars. Anyways, so uh, I, that, that box was a little too small for me, so I returned it. Um, and I actually got a bigger box. So here we have um, the 23.5 inch um, Savage light box, and I'm gonna do an unboxing, um, build, and you know, little review on this box. So uh, without further ado, I've got my uh, Gerber knife right here. I'm gonna open this bad boy up just to kind of show you guys what's inside. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit of experience with this one because, well, I had the 16 inch one. So I'm assuming it's pretty much the same stuff. It's just gonna be larger. So right off the bat, um, you can see it's pretty cool because it comes with this carrying case. Now, for me, I noticed that, you know, it's a cool little case, but, once you have the box built, you should pretty much just keep it built. I don't understand anyone, you know, why they would uh, necessarily take it and put it back in the bag, just like disassemble it every time. So I guess if you're like traveling and stuff like that, it's, you know, a cool little bag. I mean, it's nice. It doesn't, it's not a cheap bag necessarily. Um, but anyways, that's kind of cool. So inside um, you have your power source. Um, this is just kind of your AC unit that you're going to plug in and then there's some adapters that you have to plug into the LED panels. Um, then these are all of your backdrops and uh, when I do the build you'll see what I mean. But this is kind of like what lines the back, either black or white, or I guess there's a couple colors as well. Yeah, these colors right here. So you can kind of, you know, change what it looks like. Um, and this, I honestly have no idea what this is. I think it's just some sort of drape to kind of enclose the box a little more. And then here are kind of like the, the pipes to actually build the box. So I got that out of the way. Let me move these over here. And then this is the lining of the actual box. And let me widen out a little bit. There we go. So this is like kind of what I'll be lining the box with. This is like the actual cube that goes around the, uh, the, uh, the basically the skeleton. Um, here are two additional tubes. Now these ones, as you can see, have holes in them and that's where um, the LED panels will be going. So, and then here's like a, a bag of the three access, uh, connectors to kind of connect all the tubes and oh this is different not sure what these are yet but I will figure it out and let's see here's just kind of an instruction manual oddly enough I'm not seeing the LEDs unless they're inside ah here we go okay so on the 16.5 inch one the LED strips were, um, they were separate, but I guess they're, they're inside of here. So I thought for a second I didn't have them. So here are the two LED strips that are going to be going inside of the box and you'll see uh, next in the build how to put that together. So according to the uh, instruction manual, the first thing that I got to do is um, build the skeleton of the box. So, I don't know, where did I put my knife? There it is, okay. I just got back from the gym, so this is why I look probably pretty sweaty and gross, but oh well. So 
So yeah, basically you gotta just take these three axis uh, connectors and you just build a box. I mean, there's not really much to it. I'm gonna speed through this because it's really just tedious. So the two most important things that I've found, um, when I put together the 16 inch one, and I'm finding along with this one, um, and I guess just building any cube, <laughs> um, is once you've kind of put in all these pieces, um, it's good to kind of make sure that they're all very tight and secure. Because um, you want it to be even. You don't want there to be too much space inside of these um, axes. So that's kind of the most important thing I found is kind of like squeeze it together. And then the uh, other important thing, which I will get to in just a second, is to make sure that at the top of the box, you leave these two these two remaining poles with the uh, with the holes in them parallel with each other. And that's uh, pretty dang obvious, but just make sure that they're, you're not putting them in uh, you know, the wrong spot and make sure that these holes are pointing up. So yeah, this is much bigger. This will be great. Um, this will be really great for me. Alright, so the box cube skeleton is built. Now, let's see, just so I can remember, the next step, the next step is actually to um, put in the LED strips, and these are going to go on the top. Um, yeah, so basically, you want to choose a side to make sure that the uh, the cords are hanging down, um, so I'm going to just make them hang down this side. Now, I'm, I noticed when I was building the 16 inch one, um, it was kind of tedious to, uh, to put it together, at least put the, the LED strips on, um, because it, it's very tight on how it's built. Um, this lip at the end here, it, it's very dependent on these screws. So. I might look slightly special putting this together, but I'm gonna try my best to, to do it in a, uh, a, a smooth fashion. So, let me get my screwdriver. My trusty husky torque screwdriver. Always awesome. Alright, and make sure that your LEDs are pointing down. Um, that's obvious, but maybe it's not. Um, that is where the light is gonna be coming down. So, put your screw in, just kind of loosely put it in, and then I'm going to flip this around, put this other one in. Yeah, so for each for each uh, LED panel, there's a set, or I guess not, yeah, there's a set. Uh, you get two screws, and then you get two of these kind of like washers on top to uh, tighten it. So I got one LED in, and then I'm going to put in the other one, and then I'm going to tighten it in, screw it in uh, with my, my screwdriver.
Alright, so there we go. Um, I'm just gonna kinda... Let's see. I'm just gonna tighten all the screws just to make sure it's... Everything is nice and tight. Don't want it to be too loose. That's what she said. That's what he said. I don't think she said that. Cool, so the, uh, the skeleton is built. Um, I got the LEDs secure in top. I got the, uh, the power cords draped down the back. And the, uh, the next step is to, I guess, lay down the, uh, the zipper cover and kind of put it in. Now, I don't know how much of this you guys are going to be able to see um, because it is fairly sizable, um, this draper cover, but um, I'll try my best to make sure that I get it in the video. <clears throat> I think that's as good as it's going to get. Um, so, alright, so it's important to lay down the cube at the end of the box, uh, basically where the T, where it makes a T, and you want um, the strips to kind of hang out. Um, and then, yeah, you just uh, basically drape this over the top, covering it, and then you start zipping. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, really, you don't need a... I guess this isn't really a necessary video since it's so easy, but hey, why not? And you just literally zip the box. go and that's pretty much that's pretty much it something about this seems wrong what is it that's wrong so yeah I guess I'm wrong I'm an idiot um, so basically there's a hole back here that you just pull the power cords from the uh, This is fun. Pull the LED power cords from, and then you just Velcro them back, I guess. There you go. So yeah. There's the, uh, there's the box. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I guess um, from this point, what you gotta do is you need to choose what color you want for the backdrop. Um, typically, most product photography uses a white background. I've seen a fair amount um, that uses black, but uh, but I prefer the white. So, I'm going to put in the white one. Alright, so the final step in kind of assembling it is putting it in the backdrop. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a pain. And then you have to make sure that you go over the skeleton. And then I, you just roll it up. And you tuck this end. Oh my god, this is the... This is 
fucking retarded. So I think I found a better solution um, how to lay out the white backdrop. Um, so there's this little lip down here that you have to like tuck it in and it's actually pretty cumbersome and a little, a little frustrating, but uh, that's how it's built. <laughs> Um, and then there's an additional lip here. So essentially you have to tuck it in down there and then roll it all the way down <laughs> and over, over the bar. Oh god damn it. Fuck it. I'm doing it this way. Why didn't I think of this first? Alright, this is attempt number three, put on the backdrop. Alright, now, because this wants to roll up, I'm gonna put it on the other way, so that it doesn't want to, no. Stay. Stay. Okay, so I guess that doesn't work. Oh. 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 Oh my god, I think that's what this is for. Is it? I think, I think these clips are meant to assist in putting these in, at least maybe on this end, because I couldn't clip that end. I don't know, whatever, I'm just going to use it like that. Hey, it, it certainly helps. Attempt number four, I'm going to try it zipped up like this. See with the 16 inch one it was not even close to this difficult just because you don't have a lot of tension and whatnot to do. Excuse me. But uh, this is proving to be much more difficult, but certainly worth it in the long run. I hope my idiocracy is at the very least entertaining. Alright, so this uh, box is quickly becoming the bane of my existence. This is attempt number four at uh, putting this together. I feel like Matt Damon in The Martian trying to figure out how to build a potato farm on Mars, but this is just a fucking box. I feel like an idiot. I'm not even a rocket scientist trying to terraform Mars. No, I'm just trying to put a backdrop on a box. I will get this. This is a great product, regardless of, of all this. I love the, the 16 inch box, that's great. This, I'm just an, I'm just an idiot.
Oh my god! I had you zipped up! Well, that was certainly the, uh, the best attempt so far. Get one that's just like too short or something. Woo! As you can see, I got it in here. And the best way to do it that I found, which I actually did very quickly, but it shouldn't be this difficult is to put this on its back so that the back side of it is down on the ground, tuck in the top part, then flip it back right side up, and then put the lip inside. Whew. So that is how you put together the Savage 23.5 inch box. Now, gotta turn on the lights. Oh, also I clipped these to kind of like hold it into place. I'm pretty sure that's their actual utility. Now the cool thing about this box versus the other one is there are independent um, independent like variax um, so that you can change the intensity of the LED. And if I'm not mistaken, LEDs, um, when you adjust the brightness, it's not like a tungsten unit where it actually gets warmer the lower you go. I'm pretty sure it maintains um, color temperature the whole time, so that's really great. Um, so yeah, that's the um, the belt box. As you can see, kind of dimming it down. Now the issue I could see with that, with the dimmer, in product photography is you want even lighting. And if one of the dimmers on one side is just slightly different than the other dimmer, 
um, you're not going to have necessarily that, that perfectly even lighting. So it might just be in your best interest to just both keep them on max or if you trust that you got it the same, um, do that. Uh, but anyways, here is the box. Um, I'm going to do a couple test shots um, so that you can see what it looks like. I've got my camera set up and taking uh, photos of my Canon 16 to 35 mil. Um, so basically, I have my shot set up. I'm gonna take it. Actually, let's see. I'm gonna. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna take the shot that you can see. So you can see exactly what it looks like in there. So as you can see, this looks really good. I mean, it's out of the box. Everything is is ready to go. What's really great is as you can see it has these LED panels in here and they are perfectly spaced apart from each other so you get a nice even lighting that comes down and falls perfectly on the uh, product and you want to have the product in the middle of the box but um, typically you know when you buy a box um, you have to put the uh, the lights along the sides it's like a soft box where you put them along the sides and then you basically put it through diffusion. Now, the great part about this box is these lights are fixed. Um, you don't have to worry about setting up the lights ever. Um, you don't have to worry about continuity. They're always going to be there. They're always going to be fixed. They're always going to be um, perfectly well balanced lights. Um, and that's something that I've noticed that that's really great in particular about um, this Savage box. Um, now again, I had the 16 inch box before, now I have the 24, so it's super sizable. Um, the reason that I wanted to get this bigger box is because I'm going to be doing some like Chanel purses and big purses and you typically want to like hang them up so that it looks like it's being held by someone and you do that with fishing wire. Now with the 16 inch box when I was doing that, um, the chain was just kind of like flopped over. So this will allow it to be, you know, in its full um, height uh, like the, the bag so um, hopefully that'll be great um, in addition I mean this is a quick review um, you, you'll see really you know next week I have a shoot um, I have a shoot where I'll be actually using it you'll see more of what I'm talking about um, but yeah overall this box is great everything's evenly lit you have those dimmers um, that are pretty cool uh, this is a quick review, build, and uh, unboxing of the Savage 23.5 inch light box. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, keep on shooting. Peace.